Every new year and throughout the year, I've always tried to set new goals and challenges for myself to not only grow as an individual, but also as a creator. And this is one of the things that I am focusing more on for 2024. So today we have an unboxing from a new to me company. Hi everyone, this is Marina from Diamond Painting with the Besties. How are you? I hope everyone is doing well and I hope your week is starting off well. I have seen a lot of creators um, unboxing kits from a shop called Diamond Artisan Shop or Diamond Artisan. And I really wanted to try this shop, but I was waiting for something to call out to me, something to strike my interest. And I think I finally found something. So here we will have my very first unboxing from Diamond Artisan Shop. It came in a very sturdy cardboard mailing box, but I took it out because it's got my address on it. So it is wrapped in this very nice um, black packaging paper, which I absolutely love because you know it's black. I love everything black. So let's um, unwrap it. Next is wrapped in black tissue paper. It says, thank you for supporting my small business. I absolutely love that as well. So let me take a quick peek. Make sure there's no addresses. All right, so then we found this other package nicely wrapped. And then we have our kit. So let me just move this out of the way real quick. So it comes in a nice, sturdy, thick white box. These are the same boxes that you may have seen other companies use. But we will get into that in a second. I want to see what is in this very nice wrapped um, paper, cute little sticker right here with this thicker kind of, it's not tissue paper. I know what kind, it's it's really nice. I do enjoy it. Okay, so I will unwrap this. And it looks like we have a really nice uh, canvas little accessory tote bag. Great for accessories, pens, waxes, what have you. So what do we have in here? Oh my goodness, there's some really nice goodies in here. So first we have a C's, can C's Candy Caramel Apple Lollipop. Oh, thank you for that. Make a wish. Put, this, put on this jewelry and make a wish. When the chain has worn through, legends say your wish will come true. So that is super, super cute right there. Then it looks like, oh, we've got a sticker. Super, super cute. And some other goodies, but let's see. Uh, DIY artisan pouch. Break out your craft supplies and design your heart out. Please share your designs to hashtag diamond artisan shop. That is really cool. Thank you for that. And here is a note. Let me read it. It says, thank you, Miranda, for your support. I've included a mini, a mini glue for any cover minder emergencies. Diamond Artisan, super, super cute. And let's see what's in here. Oh, it's just my invoice along with some other things I ordered. So I'm definitely gonna keep this handy. Okay. So I also ordered two Artisan Putties. I ordered um, Beautiful Decay and Sakura. So let's see what they smell like. I love the packaging. Ugh. Oh my goodness, <gasps> look at that. So here's what's on the Sakura wax putty, I should say. Mm, it's a very soft floral. So with a little adorable charm in the middle of it. That smells so nice. It's like a powdery floral. And let's see what beautiful decay smells like. All right. Oh, and it's got a little butterfly charm in the middle. That's a nice touch. Mm. So it's more of a floral perfumey scent. Very, very nice. I do like that. And it looks like she has included a little sampler. Al almond macaron. Let's see what that smells like. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
that one was a little harder for me to get open. Here's the little sample size right here. Oh, very, very sweet. It is very sweet, but definitely can smell the almond in there. So thank you so much for that. And then some B7000 in case any of my cover minders decide to break or separate on me. So thank you so much for that. I'm going to throw all these goodies back here in this pouch. Totally appreciate that. And let's get into the canvas. I should have grabbed something to cut this plastic, but I have my scissors right here. It's kind of discombobulated after this weekend, you know, during my weekend. All right, so very perfect, came in perfect condition. All the outer packaging, very, very nice. Let's get this plastic off. So I did just notice on here, we have some branding on the box. It's just a very nice sticker. This is Diamond Artisan, Unlock Your Inner Sparkle. So I do really like that, and that must be their slogan. So the name of the canvas that I got, here is the thumbnail right here. I hope you guys can see it. It is called Spirit's Path. And it is a 50 by 70. I can't remember if I got it in round or square, but I believe it's by the artist Elora Powrat, P-A-U-T-R-A-T. I believe the T is silent, but I am not 100%. Let's get this out of the way and let's look at this. I didn't want a kit that was super, super huge either, so... All right, so first things first, we have Diamond Artisan Shop at the top of the key. We've got our poked and scalped edges. There's also a very glittery canvas. Right up here, we have our social media and the website. This kit will be linked below as well, but we are gonna unroll it. It is a very soft canvas. And it's got, oh my goodness, all these goodies. So, one of the stickers came off, I'll plop that back on. So there are two bags right here, one of one and two of two. This is a square and I really love how these come packaged right here, but we'll take a look closer at the drills later on. This is a poured glue kit, so I'm going to roll it back just a little bit um, so it will lay flat for us. And in the meantime, while it's resting, we will go over what's included in this kit. Now, there's about 10 diamond painting canvases on the website right now, including two new releases. So if you're interested in joining the Alice event by Life with Lindsay, there's two kits there that you guys can check out. All right, so what did we get? We got actually a lot. So we got a bag full of baggies. I really like these ones because they have that thick white strip that you can write on with marker. We got a roll of pink washi tape. And then inside is our toolkit. So let's go over that real quick. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. So first you get a pair of black pointed tweezers. These are the sharp kind, so please make sure you cover them. You get a diamond standard diamond painting pen. It looks like it comes with two squishies right here, two purple ones, and you get a thick uh, placer. You also get a white MOSFA tray, a pot of blue heart wax, you get a little brush, to sweep out your tray with. You get a six placer. And then I got this super cute little mushroom cover minder. That is so cute. So if you're new, you're not sure what a cover minder is, it's just something cute and adorable like this. You stick it on your canvas, you place the other magnet underneath and it holds the plastic back. Or you can just kind of set it up there to keep you company. I end up doing that a lot is where I don't actually use it for its intended purpose, and it's kind of put up there for decoration. So this is a very nice toolkit. Everything you need plus more to diamond paint. Stick this washi in there as well. So very, very nice touch. 
Next, it looks like it comes with some release papers right here, four release papers, and it looks like they're they are um, smooth on both sides, so it doesn't matter which side that you stick those on. And here is our sticker sheet. This is one big, huge sticker sheet. It says Diamond Artisan. Here is our huge thumbnail of our image right here. I love it. It's, it's, it's beautiful. You know, it's got cats in it. So you know, I love that. It looks like there's 43 colors in this kit. Wow. And it looks like we've got some special drills in here. So 43 colors. These are pre-cut. These labels are pre-cut. So you can go ahead and stick those on your canvas. You do have to cut out this picture and this one, if it's what you want to put into your logbook, it shows the symbol, the DMC, and then the quantity. It looks like this is just, um, oh no, we do have one number, but mostly symbols and letters with one number in here. And then down at the bottom, it looks like we have one AB, then we have a C5200, a TL 740, and then a Y5200. So I'm very interested to see what that is all about. All right, are you guys ready to see this image? I'm gonna try and hurry so the sun is creeping in. I don't want it to lose our image. So here we go. Wow. Wow. I'm just going to pull this this plastic back right here, just so our image can lay a little flatter. These, these symbols are so clear. It's a very nice size as well. It is poured glue, like I said. Very nice. So the front of the canvas also does feel a little more on that nylon-y side, which is just fine. There we go. So sometimes the plastic will creep up on you and we just want our painting to rest a little bit better. What do you guys think? Oh my goodness, the sun is gonna drive me crazy. So up at the top, we have our nice evening sky. We have our moon. There is a lot of color blocking, much more than I thought. And I do really love that. There is also a lot of line blocking um, really, the only confetti I'm really seeing is kind of over here, maybe down here a little bit, if that, right in this little corner. And that's about it, you guys. What do you think about this? I'm going to, let me see if I can zoom out so you can see. So here's the entire image. We have a legend in the upper left, along with down in the lower right, and two thumbnails. And then also at the bottom... It is the name of the canvas as well as credit to the artist right here. And I believe that is her social media. And then the size 50 by 70. So a really, really great size. I think this is com going to come out very nice. I'm loving the vending machine. Um, if any of you have been overseas, especially to Japan, they have... Vending machines everywhere. Japan is one of my most favorite places ever. We've got the Tories and then the city skyline. I absolutely love it. Let's zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better of the symbol quality before um, the sun comes and washes everything out. So here we have our symbols. Super, super clear. Very, very, very clear. So I really love that. This looks like it's going to be so easy to work on and it'll work up super quick because of all of the color blocking. But I am very, very, very interested to see what all of these special drills look like. So let's flip this over. I'm not gonna pull out all the colors, but I am gonna get the legend back out here so you guys can see. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna pull out these special colors. So it looks like we're looking for AB996, so that'll be a blue. We've got a 5200, I'm sure that's a crystal. TL740. So what I'd like too, 
These are also cut in strips by your colors as well. And I really like that. So I'm actually going to pause this video so we can find the special drills and I will be right back. Alrighty, you guys, I am back and I did find these special drills. Now I'm not sure if it's all of it. I didn't keep digging. I just grabbed one of each one that I saw. So here is our AB right here, the 996. Um, super shiny, look at that. Two nice bags so far that I found. That symbol is gonna be the U-turn symbol. Next is that um, crystal right here. And these are the two bags that I found. So we have our clear crystal right here. That's going to be kind of a symbol that goes like this. It's, I'm gonna call it kind of one, it's like a half Atari. Then we have this little pill kind of, and then the person. So I believe that this is supposed to be another crystal as well. It's very kind of hard to tell. It does have the silver back. Um, maybe, I don't know if it's a glow in the dark. I'm not sure what it is. If any of you guys know what that is, please let me know down in the comments. And then last but not least is that Y5200. So I do not see anything about that that's you know what this is supposed to be is this the glow in the dark um normally the glow in the dark would have that metal that i know of. so i'm not quite sure these look like regular 5200 drills to me but if you guys know uh please put down in the comments since this is my first time i'm purchasing from them so i'm not sure but let's see let me zoom you out and let's see kind of where these go all right, so that U-turn symbol, let's find that first. All right, so the U-turn symbol, we have that in the vending machine and down here. There's some on, no, yeah, there's a couple on this cat right here. There is one kind of on this cat right here. We have some over here, up here. So it is, you know, through this lower part um, in that part of the painting. Next, I told you we had that funky symbol right there for the crystal. And you guys, that is going to be, see if I can bring it down for you to see. That's going to be the stars in the sky. So all through here. And then that other white is going to be on the moon. But that, that is the stars all through the sky and up here. So that's going to be really, really pretty. And then... Of course, we found some of that white. Also, it has to be glow in the dark. The white has to be maybe, or it's just highlighting because we have the people all outlining the Tory right here. It's also on the outside of the cats. And if you look here in the image, it's almost like they're glowing. So I wanna say that wherever there's those people, that these white drills are, are the glow in the darks. I bet you these are glow in the darks. And then last but not least, we have that sideways pill. And that is going to be, maybe those are glow in the dark too. I don't know the crystals, but those are going to be all in the windows in all of the buildings. And then the back here over on this side too. This is going to be so nice. And then the lamps or the lamp right here. And then right over here as well. That is going to be so pretty and so much fun. So, you guys, what do you think? I think I picked a good one. I'm excited to work on this. This will get done this year. Another one of my goals is to really push through and not work on so many of the same ones. It's to really pick something from another shop that I have yet to work on. It's so hard. I have so many favorites, but this one will definitely get done in 2024. Not quite sure yet, but... Other than that, you guys, that is all I have. Let me know down in the comments below what you think and leave me some sort of um, overseas type emoji, whether it's an Asian emoji or a traveling or a different country or a different country's flag. Um, leave that down in the comments to let me know that you made it all the way through the end. So until next time, my friends, I hope that you enjoyed Path of Spirits by Elora Poirot. Poirot? from Diamond Artisan Shop. Kudos to Diamond Artisan Shop for sending such an awesome, awesome, awesome um, kit. 
um, the extra goodies, the care that you took into packaging it and to make me feel like I was getting something truly, truly special that you were very proud of. So until next time, my friends, remember to be safe and be kind and I will see you in the next video. Bye.